Hello everybody, I am back again with another video. <laughs> you guys, I'm so cray cray. I am so crazy, you all. I am so excited. I am so energized. So last video you all saw, um, and you saw the thumbnail. Oh shoot, I got let's look at lemon. The juices are flowing. So you saw the last video where I did the shrimp boil with eggs, shrimp, and this time I got turkey sausage with the smack delicious sauce. This time I got a fork and I got a spoon. Call it ghetto. I don't care what you call it. But I don't know if you all can see it. It's really, it's really hot. This is pipe. I just took it. So the turkey sausage, I cooked it in the oven on 350. I boiled the eggs. The sauce was in the freezer, but I took it out, I think this morning or last night, let it thaw out, and I put it in the microwave, first time, five minutes, second time, five minutes, and then three minutes. And then the shrimp, I boiled it on top of the stove with black pepper and Old Bay seasoning. So, you know, I'm gonna get these onions. Oh. I'm gonna tell you this. I love onions. It's hot, you all. So today is Sunday. Today is Sunday, and ah, uh, oh, it's spicy. It's spicy. I forgot to peel the freaking shrimp. The last video I did with this, it was not the shrimp was not peeled. And I said I should have pilled it, but I didn't. Mm. This is messy, but it's good. This is the egg that busted in the pot. Look at this. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's hot. Temperature hot. Y'all, I love onions. I'm gonna make some more of this smack delicious sauce. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, everything is hot. With the sausage. Mm. My God, it's hot. I can hardly, I can barely touch it. We heat the sauce up. The top part is not bad. Because it's really hot when you're down in the sauce itself, the liquid. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. So I got four boiled eggs, um, a half of a turkey sausage. I don't know how many shrimp. And of course, the smack delicious sauce. Oh my God. Mm. So, I apologize ahead of time. This is not one of those cute meals where you can keep your, your face, your mouth clean. Mm. Mm. It's just not going to happen. I feel stuff dripping in my face. I don't like that feeling though. Mm. Gotta suck the sauce off the, it's, the shrimp is deveined, the shell is on, but it is so good, you all. Oh, I, I'm drinking unsweetened tea with this. Mm. Uh -huh. Temperature hot. These onions, you all. This is so good. Mm. 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 This is so good. Mm. Mm. Oh. Do not wear white. 
with this Macalicious sauce. I think what I'm gonna do is get some bibs because this stuff is running down my chin. When you eat this, you gotta take another shower. Mm. This is good. This is really, really good. And I can tell when I finish this, I'm going to have plenty of sauce left over. Plenty. Plenty of sauce. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This sauce has a vinegary taste to it because I did put some white vinegar in here. Oh my God. This is hot. Ah. Mm. God, this is really hot. I just think I, I think I just swallowed a, a shrimp shell. Ah, my God, this is so good. Oh, crap. I can barely touch this. This sauce is really good. Mm. Now, if you follow B-Love, I'll follow her recipe. But I did not, her name is B Loves Life. And she is the one who inspired me to do YouTube. All my friends laughed, said, why are you watching that crazy lady do YouTube? And when I told them that she's a millionaire, I'm doing YouTube, they changed their tune. I think they watch her now. Mm. Mm-hmm. This is good. I love shrimp. I love it. You all like red lobsters, um, bottom fish. Okay, here in Maryland, Southern Maryland, you know, I believe it's the DC metropolitan area. I'm not sure where all the places where red lobster is located. This is too hot. Anyway, every Monday at Red Lobster, they have a thing on the menu called bottomless shrimp. You all, when I tell you that shrimp is good, oh, this is too hot. This is way too hot. It's like the top part cool off before the bottom part, but, uh oh, I got gas. Listen, I done told y'all Sorry, I, listen, I gotta let it out. I, listen, I'm in the basement. One thing about, cause I eat a lot now, on the camera, excuse me, it seems like I eat a lot of um, seafood, chicken, but I don't, I, don't eat, I don't do, excuse me, I don't eat red meat and I don't eat pork. I have not had that in over 30 years. Every now and then, I might eat chicken and turkey, but it seems like it's often on this camera, but it really isn't. I don't eat a lot of poultry. The reason why I don't like poultry too much is because poultry is one of those food items. I'm sure there are others, but the ones that I eat, they inject them with hormones. And I do believe those hormones, not hormones, Steroids. Those steroids are making the chickens mature faster. So they hatch today. I say this is hot. This is hot. And then on your dinner table in three weeks, you're eating a full size chicken. 
I don't get that. So when you eat those chickens with hormones in it, if the chicken is growing up from a chick to a full grown chicken and like half the time, what do you think that's doing inside your body? And, you know, there's something to think about. So that's why I don't eat a lot of poultry. And also too, if you notice on this camera, I don't eat a lot of processed foods. And remember, once upon a time, I was a vegan. I'm very familiar with the vegan diet. It does have a lot of health benefits. However, I did not want to be that small. I got, I'm really, I'm already small as it is. But when I went to a vegan diet, I lost a lot of weight. Even though I'm not 100% vegan now, when I eat, I'm in the bathroom. Like everything works better. You go to the bathroom more. You, first of all, a lot of gas. There's a lot of bloating, a lot of gas, a lot of going to the bathroom, doing number two. And also too, you're more energetic. You're gonna lose weight. And you're gonna feel much better about yourself. And it, it actually, excuse me, actually a vegan diet, it corrects a lot of stuff in your body. Toxins, it, believe it or not, toxins, excuse me, believe it or not, it creates a lot of health problems in your body. A lot. More than you can ever know. So, you know, I'm going to say this. Something can be vegan, but still be bad for you. Be very clear. Some of the things that are bad for human beings would be things like corn, sugar. So, even though you're eating a vegan diet, it doesn't mean that your diet is healthy. Because you got to take certain foods out of your diet altogether. We all know dairy and sugar, but sugar creates, um, it's bad for you. And dairy is bad for you. Certain foods trigger a cancer um, gene in your body. And also, if you eat a lot of manufactured food, like canned foods, um, like especially frozen dinners, it's not good for you. Well, only thing frozen that I eat would be vegetables. And of course, like seafood. But that's not really manufactured. Like frozen dinners, read the label, and you will see that that type of entree or food item is loaded with a lot of stuff that's not really good for you. So be careful going to a vegan diet. Yes, you might, not, you might be on a plant-based diet, but not all non-animal stuff is good for you. So just keep that in mind. And the only reason why I can say that because I live that life. Like tomorrow, I can stop doing all this. I'm only doing this because, to be honest, let me be very clear. Even though my earlier videos are focused on vegan, nobody watched it. Seafood and meats and stuff, that's what people like. Unless you're already a big YouTuber and you've already made a name for yourself, that's different. But I'm just starting off, so nobody wanted to really see, you know, Let's face it, now people are migrating towards a vegan diet, but you still got more meat eaters than vegans in the world. You know. Mm. You all, this is so good. When I say this is good, this is really good. Very, very good.
Mm. Mm -hmm. The sauce is cooling down now. Look at my hands, y'all. Is this messy or what? When it's messy, you know it's good, right? Mm. A meal like this, you need a long time to get that juice from sliding down your chain. Mm. But hurry up. If you don't, your shirt is going to be a part of the, the vegan meal. Ah. Oh, so yesterday, my friend Yvette, we went to this restaurant, Uncle Julio's. This person, did he cough or did he sneeze? And he didn't cover his mouth. I'm at home. Well, I know I don't have COVID. Oh, God. I'm just messing my stuff up. Mm. What you see is what you're going to get. Uh, you know what? I'm getting full again. I think it's the sauce that's feeling. I don't know. Mm, mm, mm. Sharita, my sister, I did not forget about you. I am going to order some more meals from you. I'm so glad you take credit cards because you know, your boy don't carry cash. Hmm. I carry gas, but not cash. I'm a father holic. Oh my God, the juices are flowing, running down my chin. Sorry, y'all. If I'm making this look nasty, I apologize. You know, when you eat this, you almost need a sink beside you so that when you finish, oh Lord. <sighs> Let me ask y'all a question. Mm. Wearing this mask, do you feel like your sinuses or whatever your nostrils is doing things differently? Because Every time I put that mask on in public, my nose start running. I don't know what it is. Now I do like the mask, by the way, for other for people who are sick. So you got a common cold, a flu, whatever. I just got it will prevent the spread of that, you know. Bacteria. Hmm. So that I do agree with. <clears throat> so when this whole thing is over, I'm gonna still wear my mask because this is a, it's just a matter of time before something else creeps up. I already know it is. I already know. Mm. This is good, you all. Mm. I think I'm gonna finish. So I hope you guys are having a beautiful Sunday. Mm. So far, my Sunday was very, you know, productive. So I'm glad. 
I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. I think it's my last shrimp. Mm. Mm. Let it run. Don't worry, I'm gonna get in that shower. I'm gonna go to bed. Seafood sticky. I do not want that to happen. Mm. Oh, metal shrimpy right here. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I told y'all, it's a messy meal, but it is good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I'm done. These onions, mm, mm, mm. I would not do this in public. But, since I don't, I can suck it. I do not suck no hands in no public restaurant. Nope. Nor do I pass gas in a public restaurant. We're at least at the table. Sometimes. If I know it's not going to stink, I might let one rip. But then again, do you really know when gas stinks or not? You just don't know. <sighs> so Yvette, thank you for yesterday. She and I had a great time yesterday. And I appreciate all my friends. I really do. You know, it's hard to find good friends in your life. If you find a good friend, hang on to that friend. That's all I got to say. Now, some of my friends, we reconnected on Facebook. Oh, by the way, you can find me on Facebook at, um, oh, I forgot what it is. It's a darn shame. I know it's C. Matthews. Well, you will see it in this video where to find me. But on YouTube, I got to fix that, um, my... My YouTube name is Sticks in Charge with an S. And I kept looking at it, so oh, I forgot the S behind Sticks. I'll fix that. I will fix it. I hope I remember to fix it. Anyway. But yesterday was so nice outside, you all. I had a beautiful day yesterday. Oh, when I say a good day, and I think this Thursday is supposed to be 65. So, if it's going to be 65 this Thursday, mm, I'm going to definitely enjoy the weather. Sorry. I'm going to definitely enjoy the weather because that's what I do. Y'all, I ate all my food, four boiled eggs, I didn't count the shrimp. A half a turkey sausage. When I say half a turkey sausage, it was two long links. I already ate one for breakfast the other day. So this is the other half. A full link. I just cut it in half. And my unsweetened tea. Excuse me. Before you know what you all. Sorry. Before you know it, we will be in the spring. I'm so looking forward to the spring. I really am. So I'm in my basement. So behind me, the green screen, it's a green screen behind me. You see, a um. well, in this video, I'm not sure what background I'm gonna put behind me. So to my, my left, there's a um, outlet here, you know, for water. Because I was going to do a bar right here, you know, um, a full bar. And put a small kitchen on the other side of my basement where I filmed my first video. It's on the pool table side. So, because I have this set up right here, I'm not going to do the bar now. But at some point, I might put a wet bar on that side by the pool table. 
and make this my studio. You know, I keep going back and forth what I want to do in my basement. Everything in the basement is finished except for the bar area and the kitchen area. As a matter of fact, my bathroom, so I got a full bathroom behind me, stand up shower, toilet in the sink. I have to order my decor for that bathroom. So I'm changing the decor out because I had chocolate in there. I'm going to make it red. Matter of fact, I need to get up there and order my stuff because it's hard to find red bathroom stuff, you all. Bathroom rugs. When I say red, there's a specific red that I'm looking for. So in my basement, my drapes and my pool table tops, they look the same color, but if you put them side by side, the pool table is a brighter red. This is more like a burgundy kind of red, but you really can't tell because it's up against the window. And then the art on my wall right here, like the art back here on my wall, that's more red than what's on my wall over here behind my Pac-Man machine. So if you were here, you would see there's a difference in the color, which is fine. But there's a certain color red that I'm looking for for my bathroom. Oh my God, it, I am about to pop. You guys, I'm not gonna hold you too long because I am still working. All I can say is thank you for your support. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. I hope you and your significant other get together, do something special, love on each other, and really look into each other's eyes and express to one another, what do I do for you? And you know, ask the question, why do I why do you love me? And express to the person why you love them. And continue to support one another. I hope you all grow stronger in your relationship. I hope it's a bond that nobody or nothing can break. And I really wish that for everyone. I really do. So until the next time, be good to yourself and each other. Respect yourself and each other. I will see you all in my next video. I love you all. And thank you for being my counselor because you know I need some professional help. If you've been watching my Facebook, and my Instagram post, it's just it's just jokes, you all. And I do the jokes to sort of lighten the mood in the world today. But we're going to talk about that later. So, good night. Peace.